Hey guys, Mr. Technic here, and you know, thank you for watching this video. So, yeah, just kidding. So, yesterday, Connor released a video, this one. Yeah, and a lot of you guys are asking for a tutorial. So, today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to create the Ditto Blob effect in Cinema 4D. So my Cinema 4D is German because I'm German but the tutorial will be English. So here in Cinema 4D just create a new sphere and create a floor, drag the sphere a little bit up and create a background. So next thing, create a new material so this is the most important step. Let's make a gradient and let's let's choose pink like the ditto from Connor. So now add a little bit of reflection. Choose Brunel. Yeah, it's good. And now the most important step is the displacement. So check the displacement and go to texture and noise now go into the noise tab and I don't know exactly what noise Connor used in his video but let's try something really soft like this one here sparse convolution so now it really starts looking like a ditto uh, go back to displacement and you can increase the maximum high like you want so let's apply this material to our sphere right like this uh, now one important thing click on the sphere and increase the segments so about 100 segments should be fine and when you render it now nothing happens yet yeah. that's because our maximum high is too low. So set this about 200 and render it again. It starts looking uh, whatever. So let's see about 100. Uh, 50. Yeah, so 50 is fine. Let's make a material for the ground. So let's try to achieve this effect like this ground is good so go and add a gradient make it circular and go to I don't know gray and a little bit gray yellow that's fine now drag it onto the floor and to the background Right click on the floor, Cinema 4D Tags Compositing Tag and check Background Compositing and now click on this on the material here and set it to Frontal Mapping. So now this is great. Let's make a new light, drag it up and select Soft Shadow Maps and now turn the density down to 50. So now we have a little shadow on the ground. Maybe drag it up a little bit. Like this. So now we have our scene. And now we want to let the object react with our sound file. So go to MoGraph, Effector, Sound Effector. And here, select your sound file. So select your sound file, you have your sound. When you hit play now, you should hear your sound file. Um, one important thing, your sound has to be a, a WAV file. So it's .wav, so otherwise it won't work. So that's really important, yeah. So now if you hit play, you hear your sound, yes, yeah, perfect. Now let's add a new null object. Go to create, object, null object. Now right click on the null object, go to cinema 4D tags, 
and down there is Expresso. So that opens in this little window. So now in this window, right click, choose New Node, MoGraph, Sample. Okay, now um, drag your sound effector into this so that it is on the left here and drag your material into this like so so now click on the output of the sound effector and choose object now click on the input of our material and choose displacement displacement strength now go into the output of our sample and choose strength connect the object from the sound with the effector and connect the strength from our sample with our displacement so last thing to do here is right click new x node expresso general and make a result now connect the result to the string and done. Now close this. And now our material, our, di our displacement of our material reacts to our sound. So if you hit render there, you see it. It looks like this and here. Yeah, it looks like this. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Let's play a little bit with the render settings. This is 1280 by 720. That's good. 25 frames per second. Go to all frames. Anti-aliasing is best. And this is an animation. And add an ambient occlusion. Uh, let's render it quick. And I'll be right back. So now, render is done, and let's take a look. So that's looking pretty nice. Um, I would recommend that you play around with, with the displacement settings. So if you go here into noise, there are a bunch of options where you can play around. You can select another noise, for example this one, that's kind of a blocky noise. Or, I don't know, this one, that's spiky. You can, you can play around with the global size, like decrease this, that's pretty spiky. You see here's a preview of your noise material. So for me 700 is great. Let's turn this back to 100 and select this one again so now quick thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a new sky oh, now I go to the content browser and apply an HDRI material so let's drag it onto our sky and right click Cinema 4D tags compositing tag and uncheck scene by camera let's go into options and uncheck our automatic light whatever and now the whole scene is light by this sky object you can see nice reflections over there uh, you can add global illumination but now it's held to render so, render is done. I'll show it to you in a moment. And yeah, like I said, uh, play around with the settings here in our color tab. So, be creative. I'll, I'll post a link to this file in the description. So, check it out, download this file and adjust it in your way. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, yeah, so I'm Mr. Technic, and I'll see you next time. And here's our result. <laughs>